getting underway here with Doxa Esports versus Lonely Boys. I've been following Lonely Boys for quite a while, so I figured I would uh, try and follow them as much as I can today. But uh, we get quickly into this 6.86 draft that is still the patch. As you can tell by the bands that come out of Invoker and OD on the side of Doxa and Enchantress coming out from the side of Lonely Boys. So, you have been seeing the same bands come out over and over and over and I get that everybody is sick of it, but there will be change soon. And it won't be today. So Death Prophet getting picked up for that mid lane for Doxa East. So to get that swap initiation with the stun out there. So you have a lot of lockdown on the side of Lonely Boys already. And we're going to have to see where it goes from here. Doxa, of course, they've only got Death Prophet, but it's the first pick. They're going to be looking for a stun as well. You know, there's never a surprise when you see the carry via Sven when somebody... Beastmaster and Venge, no sh surprise there, are also getting picked. So that's going to be your offlane Beastmaster and your support Venge. Two stuns early on for the side of Lonely Boys, along with that swap. So you're going to be getting vision from Beastmaster. Venge going to be able to get that swap initiation with the stun out there. So you have a lot of lockdown on the side of Lonely Boys already. And we're going to have to see where it goes from here. Doxa, of course, they've only got Death Prophet, but it's the first pick. They're going to be looking for a stun as well. You know, there's never a surprise when you see the carry via Sven when somebody needs a stun, but it's too early to tell. Uh, sometimes you replace that stun with someone like a Disruptor who just has the cage. So, wait for this next pick, and they go with the Dazzle early on. So, Dazzle has his slow, has his armor amp for his side and he also has the shallow grave so we'll be looking into that you want to keep some people alive especially that death prophet if exorcisms up you want to be able to keep it up as long as possible and if that death prophet can get her health back towards the end of exorcism that would be a quite the combination there but dazzle is always good hits hard in lane early on and also with that slow is a bit of a threat so we'll see where it goes. And now the bands coming out are going to be Zeus from the side of Doxa. So Zeus, a mid-hero Lonely Boys could have picked. Especially with the OD Invoker already banned. It's three mid-heroes already getting banned out. So we'll see where it goes from here. Chen getting banned out. Most likely a jungle Chen. see where they want to go with this after so on the side of doxa we've got bendicus vape nation exa fafner aroga r and on the side of lonely boys we got heron mark god's hand pumpkin adrian and end planner so we're getting word here from the twitch chat from u297 that fafner is about to destroy lonely boys we'll have to see where that is only boys have a lot of experience in uh should not really be taken too lightly based on what I've seen from them in the past. And coming out here from Doxa Esports, they've banned out the Spectre. So, you know, Lonely Boys do need that carry safe lane. And they don't quite have it yet. Neither team does right now. It looks like it's going to just be Death Prophet in the mid lane and Dazzle as the support and Beastmaster in the off lane and Venge being the support on the side of Lonely Boys. And we still wait to see what's going to be coming out. You know, Lonely Boys don't really need another stun. They've got a lot right now. But stuns are always worth it, especially when, you know, you can get it with something else that you need. As such, it could be, you know, your Sven, like I've said in uh, the last five minutes. So, with this next pick coming out, I wouldn't be surprised if they start showing someone like their mid. But you gotta think, what are they gonna do? There's already three mid heroes banned out. Maybe they go with something obscure here. Or maybe they just go ahead and show their safe lane carry. Maybe get somebody who's really good against the Death Prophet. Maybe we see something Lina. weird come out. But Lena's going to be picked. And Lena could be the mid here. Lena not the typical mid in this patch. But we'll have to see where it is in this matchup. It's another stun for the side of Lonely Boys. It's not 
a hundred percent of the time, but under the stun of Venge, under the stun of Beastmaster, Alina stun will most likely hit. So we'll have to see where they want to go with that. It's another it's a nuke for the side of Lonely Boys and another stun, attack speed, and all that. So Doom getting picked up here for the side of Doxa Esports. Doom most likely gonna be I'd like to say in that off lane, but We'll have to see. Maybe he jungles, but based on this lineup right now, I don't think it's going to happen. Bounty so now Bounty Hunter coming out here for the side of Lonely Boys. And with that, they need their carry. It's probably going to be Venge, Lena supporting more. And this could be a roaming Bounty Hunter, most likely a roaming Bounty Hunter. It's usually how it goes. So, oh. Got the mini stun from the shuriken too, and the track gold gives them the ability early on to start pushing away and getting their farm and snowballing out of control. So it's a lot of vision for the side of Lonely Boys as well. You've got the Hawk, you've got Bounty Hunter who can move up a bit. You know, get that vision for a swap. You get the swap from Venge, and then it goes into a stun, and it's still a lot of pickoff potential. Now for the other side of Doxy Esports, you want to think, what are they going to do with their carry? Well, with carries, you could go with an anti mage here. Wouldn't be such a terrible idea. It's movement, it's farm. We'll have to see Slark. what they want to do. And they go with Slark. Slark, another hero that has a lot of movement, hits hard. He does need a while to come online. So you need to be able to protect him early on. It's not really a four protect one strat hero. It doesn't really get played that much anymore. Slark just needs to be able to stay alive early on. A good amount, like one or two deaths, so you're gonna slow Doxa Esports down quite a bit. But with the Death Prophet's ability to push with Exorcism, that space can really be made for the Slark here. So now we go into the last round of bans. And for the side of Lonely Boys, you're probably gonna ban out another support here. Maybe somebody you don't want getting huge ulti, so maybe you ban out a Rubik here. You don't want your. Laguna Blade getting stolen. You don't want the Primal Roar stolen, and you definitely don't want Track stolen. So maybe you ban out Rubik just to be safe. But again, you know this is probably now this is definitely going to be an off lane Doom with Slark going in the safe lane, Death Prophet in the mid lane, and Dazzle supporting. So they could always go with another support or even a surprising jungler. But with Enchantress and Nature's Prophet already banned out, that's pretty unlikely. We'll just have to wait and see. So, Darkseer getting banned out here. It's an interesting ban. I'm really not sure if they would play a Darkseer here. We'll see what goes down with this last ban for Doxa. They're probably going to ban out a carry. I assume it's just going to be a carry coming out here. They already banned out the Spectre and all these big heroes for the side of Lonely Boys. So they've had some trouble with the typical 6.86 meta. Hmm. Can't really... Any mage would definitely be a tough sell here as a carry. Get doomed up, and all of a sudden, that's any mage most likely going down with the speed of Slark, the speed of Doom. Any mage is definitely not a good carry pick here for Lonely Boys. Well, it's going to be Sven getting banned out. It's the Sven I've been talking about pretty much since the beginning of the draft. Now he's no longer available, so Lonely Boys are probably going to be looking for... They could always go Gyrocopter in the safe lane. I wouldn't like it. I don't think... I don't know, I, I just don't think that's the right move with the Gyrocopter. We'll have to see. We 
Keenum on this last pick coming out. Spectre definitely would have been a good pick for the side of Lonely Boys. I can see why that ban happens. You know, that's a lot of mobility, and with the vision they're able to pick up with Bounty Hunter and Beastmaster, Spectre would have been a great pick. So it's good on Docs at a ban it. This is the best of one. Juggernaut. So. Winner goes on to the next round. And the winner goes on to play Satina. I have no idea who's on that team, but the winner goes on to play them immediately following this. So Juggernaut getting picked here for the side of Lonely Boys. Juggernaut could blow up that Death Prophet. It's always possible. It's not bad with that Omni Slash. He hits hard. And once he gets that Battle Fury, he could really start to do well. You know, it all depends. And with the lineup that the Lonely Boys are running right now, they could protect him pretty well. Swap him out if he gets in trouble. Throw the stuns from Beastmaster and Venge. We know can Laguna Blade once level 6. And the track gold could help Juggernaut snowball at a faster rate than this Slark, Doom, and Death Prophet combo. But it really depends on how quickly Bounty Hunter gets level 6. If he's going to be roaming around, it's going to be a slower level 6. Silence. Silence are getting picked here for the last pick on Doxa. So Death Prophet, Dazzle, Doom, Slark, Silencer, Beastmaster, Venge, Lena, Bounty Hunter, Juggernaut. And a bunch of lag. There we go. Picks up again. Shut the fuck up about Moon Men! With the fast jiggle. I was almost sure I turned off notifications. I'll have to turn those back off. I turned them back on. All right, they're off. So you're going to have Fafner on that silencer, Exa on the Slark, Bendicus on the Doom, Arogar <laughs> on the Dazzle, Vape Nation on that Death Prophet on the other side of Lonely Boys. You're going to have Pumpkin on the Beastmaster, God's Hand on the Lena. And right away, we'll open up the last hits denies. Get loading in lag. Switch up to Crystal Mana, because why not? And head over. So, as I was saying, you're going to have End Planner on the Juggernaut, Heron Mark on the Bounty Hunter, God's Hand on the Lena, Adrian on that Venge, and lastly, Pumpkin on that Beastmaster. So, we head over to the other side. I'm going to take a quick look here as it seems that four on the side of Lonely Boys are going to head towards this bottom Bounty Rune. A little bit split for the side of Doxa. No smoke's coming out. Or either side. Bad camera work by me. But it looks like Bendicus is going to go for this deep rune in the uh, deep ward in the jungle. He might get caught out here if he's not too careful, but he just places it for the little pickoff, and it does get spotted out by end planner. So they're going to de ward that hopefully pretty quickly. And that opens up the bottom lane a little bit. Aaron Mark moving up. He's not going to see anybody on the side of Doxa. We've got Bird and Boar scouting out this top lane. So it's going to be Doxa getting this top rune. Most likely going to go to Vape Nation. And God's Hand going to pick up this bounty rune as well. So it's going to be a Lena versus a Death Prophet in that mid lane. Nothing too shocking. And then what it's looking like bottom is it's going to be Adrian and End Planner while Heron Mark roams. So Pumpkin in this off lane all alone, and it looks like it might be an aggressive tri lane of Arogar, Fafner, and Exa. Interesting. Definitely an interesting combo here. A lot of potential for damage, a lot of potential for kills. So it looks like early on, it's definitely going to be Pumpkin sitting back here trying to get last hits with this boar. 
might not be too successful. And that boar can get taken out pretty quickly, too. Let me take a look. Harry Mark scouting out this mid lane, trying to get something for this Lena God's Hand to look at. Let's see. So now it's Harry Mark going up towards the top lane as he's placed that ward, given that vision in the mid lane. So it looks like Fafner's going to go on Pumpkin or Rogar. He's going to be looking for something. And now Harry Mark, he really does show himself, and that's pretty risky. He's going to get himself in Viz and walk out. He's not under any sentry ward vision, so he should be okay. So Aaron Mark gonna sap some experience here, try and get himself level 6 as quickly as possible. Well, looks like Pumpkin might be in a little trouble again. It's very aggressive here in this off lane. You want know to take a look, and Bendicus is going to have a little bit of an easier time. He's not really going to be able to get as much farm as he'd like, considering Adrian's always there, and those stuns could be very deadly for this Doom early on. Now we take another look. Just Pumpkin now, as it looks like Heron Mark has moved towards this mid lane. And like I said, it's that stun, that spin, and that miss first blood. I'm very... Ugh, piss poor getting first blood. If I had a lifetime stat record, it would be atrocious. <laughs> and they go with through two sentry wards in this mid lane. This Death Prophet definitely not happy about that. It's actually pretty funny. You see Heron and Mark just use twi two quick tangos to eat up those sentry wards. So Axa, Rogar, and Fafner still doing their thing up in this top lane. It's 11-0 for Axa. Not doing... He's doing well. He's 12-0 real quick. It's nothing too crazy. First blood already down low, and that was first blood for the Venge Adrian. So stacking these camps for the Juggernaut, getting a little bit of farm for himself, and he's doing pretty well here. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it is Heron Mark just sitting here. There's not going to be sentry wards for quite a while. Considering both of them got eaten. Looking for another stun. Does have that minus armor. Let's just see where it goes. I don't think this Doom's really going to get too close. Bendicus might look for something, but it's really not going to be too much. He got a little aggressive, and he died towards his river, so they do have the ability to pick him off from afar. And End Planner does have that spin and that healing... Ward, so he won't be in trouble too much to really go in on this. He could dive, gets that healing ward up, and survive the tower shots. Meanwhile, in this mid lane, it's going to be the spirit siphon, but the stun comes out from God's hand. They're trying to take him down, and he's staying pretty close. The fairy fire gets eaten, and now they're really looking for it. The spirit siphon comes out once more, and one more hit would have been enough. But they're not going to dive this tower with God's hand too low. So, salving back up. Gonna continue to do his thing. Now the Invis rune comes. Maybe the bounty and God's hand move up top. There is ward vision, so we should back up a little bit. Oh, Exa misses the pounce, uses the dark pack, the stun misses, and they're gonna get an immediate kill here on Fafner or on Exa. And now it's going to be this Dazzle using the Shallow Grave on the Silencer. And he's getting really low. Meanwhile, Pumpkin's really low. He's going to run into this Dazzle. No, he's actually going to stay far enough back. And it's going to be three kills going the way of Lonely Boys. Meanwhile, on the back end, it's going to be Pumpkin dying. So pretty good gank there for the side of Lonely Boys. And they're immediately up here 4-1, giving their mid quite a bit of an advantage. And then Planner getting a little bit of space here. So they kill that carry Sark of Exa. Even though I said Fafner. Tower is under attack. He goes down. So it's a Rogar, Exa, and Fafner going down. All in this top lane. And it's a quick lead for the side of Lonely Boys. Can they build off it? Yes. Will be easy. It really depends. Let me just ask open-ended questions for you guys. So God's Hand back in this mid lane. The TP is coming in, and this death does come once more. Adrian getting a kill. I'll never see the Doom actually die. 
But you know, I'll just pretend like I did. You guys didn't see me miss it. He died. We all saw it. See? We saw it. It was a spin. It was a stun. Lowered armor. We know what happened. Oh, Vape Nation really looking for something. 19 and 3, not too great considering God's Hand is 28 and 14. Now, Aaron Mark is going to be looking for that slow. The Janata does get the hit off, and now God's Hand hitting away here at Vape Nation, and the Laguna Blade does pop him. So, 6 1 here. And getting off to a really quick lead is Lonely Boys. Take a look here. Pumpkin, 14-0. Xa trying to phase him out. 36-3. Doing a pretty good job here with Treads and 800 gold. And he'll be looking to push away Pumpkin, who, if he's not too careful, can get taken out here. But the problem is, if the Pounce misses, there is no stun, and he'll just walk away. You have to really be able to get a lot of damage on him quickly to keep him out, but I don't think that's going to happen. Well, down low, and Pointer is about to be 30 and 10. He's got two assists under his belt, and he's got his phase boots ready to go. So the kill potential that's been there in this lane is still there, considering he's got his phase boots. He can keep up with this Doom. Adrian can get a stun off, lower the armor, 2-3 on these skills, and that's going to be it. And meanwhile, Adrian's going to be able to get level 6 soon, Pumpkin. A couple hits, nothing really doing, and now the bounty hunters here. We might actually see this doom die. The spin comes, and bang to this is dead. We see it once. We finally catch up with the doom, and Bendik is dying. Her and Mark really doing a great job here. Four assists already is this bounty hunter, and getting a quick level six under his belt soon enough. Meanwhile, Adrian almost level six, and that's going to be even more kill potential with the stuns they have, the solos they have. And the swap that's going to be available soon enough. I'm going to start working towards this tier 1 bottom. End planner doing a lot. And the TP from this silencer, Fafner, is definitely not going to go. It would be certain utter death there. Well, they continue to work at this tier 1 bottom. Meanwhile, it's going to be Bendicus moving in and... It's going to be a Rogar doing something. And with the two of them, they might be able to keep Bendicus alive, but they really need to be careful here as Aramark is still here. Vape Nation heading towards that bottom lane will grab a bounty room. Let's see if she goes up towards the off lane, but she won't just sit back and go towards that mid lane. And now with Pumpkin level 6, he'll be looking for that Primal Roar. Vape Nation a little too far up, and now the Primal Roar is going to fly. Vape Nation getting really low. The stun falls from God's hand, and the Dragon Slave as well. And down goes Vape Nation. Meanwhile, Bendicus going down once more in the bottom lane. So it's a quick 9-1 to lead for Lonely Boys, and we take a quick look at that net worth. It's... 5,000 less than 10 minutes in, and they've got Exa who's trying to farm his way back. Exa doing all he can here, but it's really not enough. They've grabbed this tier 1 bottom, they've grabbed this tier 1 mid, and that's even more gold going their way. It's slowly but surely getting out of the hands of Doxa real fast. And that sentence did not make sense. Slowly but surely, quickly getting out of their hands. Oh, Aaron Mark here, almost level 6. That's going to be track gold soon enough. Slowly but quickly. <laughs> we see Pumpkin here doing quite a bit of damage to Axel. He's going to have to pounce his way out. Fafno using that last word. God's hand almost finished with Yules here. So very fast on this, and that's going to be even more kill potential going the way of Lonely Boys. Two coming around here. M Planner doesn't have Omni Slash, but Adrian is there. Does have the stun if they can just catch up. That's the armored lower. Now Henry Mark gonna get that sword the Janata. The stun comes out from God hand. God's hand, and he's gonna go down with Guna Blade on this Dazzle. And two kills going the way of Lonely Boys. God's hand dominating and Planner on a killing spree. About a thousand gold going their way. So a quick Necro 1 on this Beastmaster, and Pumpkin doing really well here. He's got quite a bit of farm. He's only 25 and 1, but he does have two kills. It's Yules coming out for God's Hand, and Necro 1 coming out for Pumpkin. So the pushing potential goes up for Lonely Boys, who you didn't exactly expect to have the pushing potential advantage here. 
And with the exorcism coming from Doxa, that's huge pushing potential and a lot of space that's able to get created for Exa, but Death Prophet's already quite back, far back enough where this space isn't exactly there for Exa. And now with this stack here, the healing ward's gonna be placed, M Planner's gonna spin, and it's gonna be some easy farm going his way too. So all five are here for the side of Lonely Boys. Primal Roar on Exa, and he's already dead. So all five are here. The TP about to come in from the Dazzle. But it's definitely going to be rethought as that gets stopped. And now it's going to be this top lane going down. That's all the tier ones dead. Very quickly. And you take a look. It was Track Gold going the way of his team. So that farm snowball starts to go. And with the carry Exa going down, that's definitely trouble for Doxa. Now, Bendicus in a little bit of trouble. End planner here. He does have the Omni Slash. Does lose track of Bendicus. And now they use the Omni Slash and they will get the kill. It's the Shuriken coming out to stop that TP and the Omni Slash to finish the job. End planner getting himself another kill. And now he's dominating. Take a look up top. Exa, a little far forward. The Laguna Blade used. And the stun as well. And Exa's dead just as fast as he was up. He is dead again. And GG called already. Exa calling GG 12 minutes in. And that is all she wrote. Not sure if that's official. I'm waiting for it. I might have deactivated it. Yeah, they're going to deactivate that one. Is Exo a little frustrated there calling GG. So 14 to 1 here for Lonely Boys. And XP is way over the top, as is this net worth over 10,000. The Yules used on Vape Nation. The stun to follow. The Global Silence is used there by Fafner. So nothing doing just quite yet for the side of Lonely Boys. They're looking for something. Heron Mark is getting the track on everybody. He's really looking to get his team gold. So and we'll take this tier two in the mid lane and back up and head towards this top tier two. And they're gonna continue to get. There's not really much pressure that they can put on here. Dox has really been backed up to their base at this point. They're looking for a huge team fight to go their way, but they're still down 15,000 gold, and even one team fight's not going to really be that much. Bendik is looking for a doom here. Not going to get it yet. Last word used on Planner, so he's going to back up for quite a bit. The deny is looking to be there by Exa, and it will get there from Rogar. So they do deny a tower. If there's a positive to take from this game, that's it. So, end planner. He's getting close to that battle. Fury, they do spot him out with that ward. They might want to go that way. And Vape Nation going to move up a little bit. But with the vision from Heron Mark coming out, they'll be okay. So, Heron Mark is here at the secret shop. It's getting pinged out here. A little bit of ward vision available. Now we take a Quick look at Exa again. He's 69, 70, and 4 here. Looking for Assange, but uh, not really much going on. Meanwhile, it's going to be Doom going down here. And once again, I, I've actually, in my head, I've said I don't want to follow his deaths anymore, so I stopped caring. But uh, I really should work on that last. We're getting used on M Planner, and now the weave gets used, but the Exorcism to follow. It's coming in from the back. Vape Nation trying to do a lot of work here. Getting low already. The Laguna Blade used. And down goes Vape Nation. Getting swapped out his God's Hand. And now he's going to get earned back up. And Fafner trying to do something here. He's getting pretty low. Heron Mark is there. He's going to put the track on. That's the Shallow Grave getting used. The Yules is up. And he will be locked down. And now X is going to get Primal Roared on the back. And he's going to try and pounce out. He's getting out for the time being. Adrian getting himself a killing spree. And he's going to go down as well. And now that's looking like the official GG. 19-1. to 1, Lonely Boys 15 minutes in. Is that the official GG we're looking for? And that is it. Out of this open qualifiers go Doxa. And continuing on is Lonely Boys. So a quick 15-minute game there for Lonely Boys. Heron Mark doing all he can. 12 assists, no kills, no deaths. 7-0 on God's Hand. Did really well in that mid lane. 4-1 on Pumpkin. Adrian 3-0 and 5-0 on End Planner. So we're going to continue in just a moment. Watching Lonely Boys in their next step. 